You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Taylor versus Brown. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Taylor, you say Mr. Brown is an older man who swept you off your feet and got you pregnant. You're here today to prove to Mr. Brown that he is the father of your three-month-old daughter, Melanie Brown. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Taylor, you're also suing Mr. Brown for $2,256 in child care expenses for the past three months of your child's life. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Brown, you say Ms. Taylor is obsessed with children and has baby fever. Yes. And you believe she may have already been pregnant by another man the first night you had sex with her. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Taylor, what exactly has Mr. Brown done for your baby since she's been he born? He haven't did nothing for her. All he did was bought her two packs of cheap diapers. And I let my baby wear them. And two days later, she got a diaper rash and I had to take my baby to the hospital. And I called him to tell him that she got a diaper rash. He said, so what I supposed to do? That ain't my baby. Mr. Brown? Yes. So you bought some cheap diapers because you didn't think it was your baby? Yes, I mean, it was better than nothing, I thought, probably. Because I didn't really know whether it was my baby or not, so I can't take care of somebody else's baby. So did you have sex with Miss Taylor? Yes. Did you use protection? Uh, not all the time. Well, then, there's a possibility it could be your baby. Yeah. All right, you all take me back. So you say up until this point, three months old, nothing. He's done nothing except nothing. those two cheap yeah. diapers. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Taylor, have you tried at all to get Mr. Brown involved? Have you called him? Have you said, do you want to come by and see the baby? Yes, Your Honor. Every time I call him, he say, that ain't my baby. You need to go find your baby daddy and stop calling me. What? Well, actually, she didn't know that I, was, that I had a condom on. He I didn't use a condom, condom, Your Honor. Bottom line is, you say no protection was used. You say you did. Yes. Now, how did you guys even meet? I met him at the club. Um, it was right after my 18th birthday, and I went to the club, and I was drinking and dancing with my friends, and he came up to me and was like, you're beautiful, and i like to get to know you, and we went back to his place. Well, she was more asking me to come back to my place. No, I wasn't, Your Honor. He was coming on to he me. He came up to you in the club? Yes, Your Honor. And you how old? 18. And he was how old? 32. What? 32, Your Honor. How old are you, sir? 32. 32. I always say, beware the old man in the club. Hey. <laughs> um... <laughs> Continue, Miss Taylor. So, I go back to his place, and we got into it. Like, we had well, sex she, or whatever. She kept... She kept asking me about, like, hey, do you like babies? Or... No, I was not, Your Honor. Uh, we uh, didn't even talk. I'm like, talk. I like babies. This is my first time meeting her. She's talking about, oh, do you like babies? Or how do you feel about babies? I'm thinking that she was already pregnant. And yet, you still went ahead and had sex with her. Yes. That should have been a note to sell. <laughs> so, was this ever a relationship or a no. extended no, it play was just, uh, booty call? It was just a booty What was this? Just a booty call. It was just a 32 booty call. 32-year-old man with an 18-year-old girl. Well, yeah. Well, actually, I was 31 then, so... <laughs> so, Ms. Taylor, were you interested in him were you interested in him being your boyfriend? Were you yes, interested in I having... Yes, I felt like, Your Honor, the only reason I went back to his place is because I felt like we would be more than what it came out to be because I thought he would be more mature because he's older. I always was interested to older men, but he turned out just to be like the rest of them. I think That's what looking, you're thinking I think as... looking for a daddy. <laughs> a, 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 a father figure or, or, or a father for her baby. Because you, you are the father of my baby. She was already pregnant. Yes. I and was not, Your Honor. The first, the first time we used a condom. The second time we used... If I was already pregnant, how come my baby three months? I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. The, the third time the condom broke... The condom broke? Yes. So, in fact, you could and potentially she, be and then she kept Melanie's saying, father. Keep going, keep going. I was like, no, no. And then... <laughs> and I told her I'd be back. And I left. <laughs> It was never no condom in the first place. Okay. So, when you find out you're pregnant, are you still in a sexual relationship? No, we had them stop. I hadn't heard from him in, like, a couple of weeks, and then my cycle was late. So, I went and took a pregnancy test, and then a week she later... She called me, like, like and two I took weeks another after one. we had sex Can I finish? Pregnant. Can I finish? And, I, and I'm, like, pregnant. Can I, can I finish? Pregnant. I said pregnant four times. Like, how? Your Honor... <laughs> 
You said pregnant four times? Right. So I'm like, how you so, pregnant? And every time she said yes, she's still pregnant. Right. And then... Obviously, she was. <laughs> At this point, what reaction did you get from him? Was he happy? He said, was he... He said we only had three times. I woke calm today. My baby, you need to go so find your baby So he immediately denied daddy. the baby? Yes, Your Honor. Because, because Mr. Brown, find... you... Okay, <laughs> she needs to find her baby daddy. You are my because baby daddy. I started doing some research on her. And I found some colored pictures of her. What is this, sir? And she portrayed herself to be such a good girl. And these but, are uh, pictures of what? Of her, you know... Around the time since she got pregnant. So you found these pictures. Right. And so, in your mind, you said what? I was trying to find the baby daddy for her. <laughs> you know, you got jokes, but it's interesting to me that you did your research after she told you she was pregnant when you should have been doing research, both of you, before you ever jumped in the bed together. <laughs> If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You go through your whole pregnancy by yourself? He only came around like three times when he wanted to have sex. Is he in the delivery room with you? He came after I had the baby and he holding the baby. I have a picture of him we holding the baby. We only had sex once when she was pregnant anyway. I have a picture of him Let holding the baby. And wrong. then he said he, for five minutes, then he said he was going to smoke a cigarette and he never came back, Your Honor. <laughs> Your nerves because, were shot. Because I didn't feel a bond. See, this this is a picture here of you. Right. And this is holding Melanie. Melanie. As soon as she put it. It looks in my... like you're looking at her in a loving way. No, I'm I was looking like I gotta go. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to be patient, Mr. Brown. You more immature <laughs> than a red than 18-year-old that she could have dated. a beautiful newborn baby like, I gotta go. <laughs> and then you go outside, you tell her I'm going out to smoke and you never come back. Cause my other baby, as soon as I held the baby, I felt a bond. So you are a father? Yes. How many other children do you have? Five. <laughs> okay, did you put him on the birth certificate? Yes. You put his name down? Yes. You have a copy of that birth certificate? <laughs> I never put my name on there. I didn't know my name was even on there. So this is a copy of Melanie's birth certificate. Yeah. Mr. Brown, you see your name there, right? I, I didn't know it was there. You never seen this birth certificate? Mm -mm. Jerome, if you'd like to hand that to Mr. Brown, he can see his name on that birth certificate. Mm. That establishes paternity and so you are legally responsible to support that child. Have you received any notice from the court? You should check your mail. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Are you still interested in being with this man? Are you, like, in love with him or something? Yeah, she's in love, because she no, keeps trying to hound me down. I'm not in love with him. I just want him to be there for my baby. Okay, so... You say she's trying to hound you down. Yeah, I'm not trying to hound him right? down. He be calling me for call. text. She calling you about the child? Yes, I do call him about the child. I be trying to see if he can. He come see her or bring me stuff. He say, go find your baby dad. That's not my baby. Stop calling me and he'll hang up. So I be feeling like she's trying to, you know, just lure me over there, maybe to have sex with me or something like that. I feel like if I give him what he want, he'll give me what I want. And I want him to take care and of my this baby. this is exactly why young girls have no business having babies, because that math you just stated has never added up. That's not how it works. And it never ceases to amaze me how many young women stand before me and will have a baby by a man that doesn't want them and then act surprised that he don't want the baby. Okay. Come on, Miss Taylor. He never wanted to be your boyfriend. No. Your husband. And I kind of know that but she I was... didn't try to get pregnant, Your Honor. Yeah, she Listen. Did. She was Listen. Failure to protect yourself leaves the door open for the exact situation you are in today. You must learn this lesson. When you offer a man sex in exchange for something, love, attention, you want him to take care of the baby, understand this. Nine times out of ten, 
he gonna come get the sex, tell you he going out to smoke, then never come back. <laughs> Do you get it? Hey, Your Honor. You're replaying the same situation over and over again. Yes, sir, what would and, you like to add? And then, like, another main reason why, you know, I don't trust her is because I have a, uh, a witness. My brother uh, seen her around town with some uh, men before. It's so, not wrong with me hanging out with people. And I'd I was like hanging to bring out the with my brother in the room. Will you room. please escort the witness into the courtroom? Sir, I need you to come with me. I'm gonna bring you up to the witness stand right next to the judge. Thank you for being with us today, sir. State your name for the court. Now, Seymour. Mr. Seymour, who are you? You are? Marcus's brother. All right, and you know Miss Taylor? Yes, ma'am. How do you know Miss Taylor? Uh, I was there when everything took place, and I was there when they first had met. When everything took place? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was there at the club. Okay, the yeah. night they met. Yes, ma'am. You were there. Yes, ma'am. And what did you observe, and what do you have to add? But uh, a couple of days on after we had left the club, I'm walking out my apartment complex to go get something to eat. And um, as I'm walking out, I see Mercedes walking in. And you know, and she walking in with a couple of my homeboys from the same apartment complex. So, um... Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Do you think she was having sex with them or they were having sex with her? I mean, I know they don't want no girlfriends. So do you think that that's what they were doing? I'm pretty sure there's a great possibility that that's, the, that's what they were doing. That's not true, Your Honor. So were you with these men? Yeah, I was, they are my brother's friends, so I didn't have no problem with hang, hanging out with my brother's friend. And when is it wrong with me hanging out with anybody? I wasn't having sex with them. I was just hanging out. He just seen me walking, and he assumed me. Technically, it's not an assumption if somebody already told me what's going on. Well, they told you a story, okay. cause, um, and what that did happen. they tell you? She not this little innocent girl, you know, she, she get around. Okay, so... You then conveyed this to Mr. Brown. Yes, ma'am. Immediately. I ain't even gonna get nothing to eat. Immediately, I had... <laughs> <laughs> I got him on the phone immediately, and I said, hey, um, remember a couple nights ago when we was at the club? I just seen her out here where I'm at right now, like, right now. And then that's when I was like, that's not my baby. <laughs> you know? You just took a long leap to that. <laughs> uh, I will give you this, Mr. Brown. Hearing this kind of news would definitely lead you to have some doubt, and I get that. But the truth is, I've asked you a million times, both of you, throughout this case, were you in a relationship? Were you committed? Neither one of you say you were committed. So the truth is, both of you were probably sleeping with other people. So regarding your suit, you brought him here uh, because you believe he is responsible for half of the child care expenses. I have my expenses of all the stuff. You have... Uh, thank you. Jerome, will you please pass that you up to You need to get that to the real baby daddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so your weekly expenses, your formula, $60 a week, diapers, clothes, cereal. Total weekly cost, $188 a week to raise your child times... 12 weeks because she's three months old, $2,256 in child care expenses you spent thus far. Mr. Brown, you admit you spent $4 on some diapers, right? Yeah, $4 twice. <laughs> $4 two times. Yeah. So that's $8. And that's why my baby broke out, for them cheap diapers. Have you done anything else for this baby? No. Anything? I held her another time. One time. <laughs> One time, you call that. I, I That's not doing nothing. That's not doing I nothing. Don't, I don't think the baby's mine. It is your baby. I, I don't have a she bond look like with you. Baby. She got your eyebrows. She got All your babies heels. look like when they be young like All that. All right. <laughs> Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. This situation it upsets me. I just don't want Looking to take care of baby. Looking at this beautiful little baby. And both so of baby. you all sitting up here, neither one of you can barely string a sentence together that makes sense. I'm gonna rule on this uh, suit after I get the results because, of course, your legal obligation to this child is dependent upon whether you are found to be her biological father. Jerome, let's get to the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Taylor versus Brown, 
pertaining to three-month-old Melanie Brown. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Brown, you are the father. I told you. Can I have that paper you're on? Well, now I can hold her again. <laughs> You, that is so sad. That now, is so now, sad. I'll do something now, though. Ms. Taylor, as for so your sad. suit for half of the child care expenses, it has been determined by this court that Mr. Brown is, in fact, Melanie's biological father. Therefore, you were suing for $2,256 in total expenses. Mr. Brown has admitted that he has given $8 of those total expenses, right? So, therefore, doing the math, he's gonna owe you $1,120. $4. So I will rule on that suit in favor of you for that amount. Mr. Brown, you owe her that. Yes. She's been taking care of this baby by herself for three months, right? Yes, ma'am. I actually see a little emotion in your eyes. Is it hitting you now? Yes, ma'am. He's faking. That you have a beautiful little girl? Yes, ma'am. Now, see, now you're saying he's faking, right? Why would you say that? I'm ruling in favor of you on your suit, and you still clowning him talking about he's faking. You're gonna have to give him an opportunity, Ms. Taylor. <laughs> you are. You're gonna have to give, give him an opportunity for your child's sake. Mr. Brown, do you intend to take care of this baby? Yes, ma'am. Because, I mean, if you don't do it voluntarily, you know the court will require it. I'm gonna but take care of But will you be a father to her? Yes, ma'am. Okay? I want you to try to do that. All right, I want you guys to take care of that baby. My ruling is in favor of the plaintiff. Court is adjourned. <laughs>